Trumbull County, covering Trumbull County, where a Fowler man is facing charges after police and Liberty say he was involved in a recent catalytic converter theft. It's a crime that appears to be happening more and more often, and now lawmakers in Columbus, they're working to prevent it. Here's Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley. Norman Mackeyus Jr. is free after posting bond. He's due back in court next week after pleading not guilty to charges of theft, possessing criminal tools and criminal damaging. Investigators say he drove two other people to steal a catalytic converter from a parked car at Belmont Confections on October 3rd. The act was all caught on surveillance cameras. Broad daylight, 10 o'clock in the morning, they pulled up in a van, they slipped underneath the car and within four or five minutes had the catalytic converter and nobody knew the wiser. Police are searching for two others involved, but this type of crime has seen a spike in recent months. They're getting big money and on particular types of vehicles, they're worth even more money. Back in June, catalytic converters were cut from the entire bus fleet at Person Centered Services Active Days Gerard facility. And just last month, five converters were stolen from transport vans owned by Turning Point Residential No Limits Alternative Center in Mahoning County. Obviously, there has been a, a huge surge in the uh, theft of catalytic converters. Representative Mike O'Brien says lawmakers are currently discussing legislation known as House Bill 408 that they believe would help prevent this type of crime. It will make it a crime to sell a catalytic converter to a scrapyard without a proof of ownership. The bill has been referred to the House Criminal Justice Committee. O'Brien expects it will make its way to the House floor and receive support from lawmakers in both chambers. It's just another tool in the toolbox for police departments to really uh, combat this uh, ongoing theft of catalytic converters. In Liberty, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.